Welcome to YBO, the channel for ERP for small and medium-sized companies. Today I'm going to look a little bit into the project because I saw a very interesting video done by Odoo presenting the project management. I want to have a look at it by myself. So I am logged into the demo.odoo.com and I go to project. I click on project and here I have the project. I'm going to create my own project and the project is going to be called here project name YBOFR new video. Okay. So I want to manage the task, but I don't want to manage issue and I want to allow forecast. This is really one of the functionality I'm looking forward to. So I can save this and now I'm going to create a few tasks. So I go to the create new task. The system helps me. Thank you. It just happens the very first time to help you decide um, figure out what needs to be done. So the first thing is that to be work on the idea. Okay, I'm just gonna save. Then I'm just gonna create a new task, and the new task is um, it's gonna be um, write the script. I'm gonna save it, and I create the third task is gonna be re oops la record the video. So now I have uh, three tasks. I haven't really looked upon to whom I assign the task. I just have created the tasks. So now if I look into my project, where is it? Here, YBO, I see the three tasks. Here are the three tasks and it is all assigned to the administrator. Of course, it's not so interesting. So I'm going to assign this to a new person. Let's say John Doe. Okay. I'm just going to go to the next one and assign this to the so-called demo user. Okay. And the third task is going to be assigned properly to the um, administrator. And you see the color, the person has changed. This is very nicely done. But this is not what is interesting for me. What I really want to see is the forecasting. But before I can do some forecasting, I would like to be able to put a deadline. So I want this task work on the ID to be finished by tomorrow. And I would like to work on the forecasting. So let me just first save it and then create a forecast. So this is here, uh, the time for this is um, 100% of time for John Do. Um, how much do I want him to be working on this? I can decide that I want him to be working 50% of his time. And in terms of um, hours, um, I would need to say how much time I need to be working on this. But at least I can say that I want the person to be working 50% of his time on this during these two dates. There is something I'm still missing and I will go to the configuration because I really would like to be able to add how much time I want to work on each task. So let me see here, manage time estimation on task and this is done, save. Okay, are you ready? So still waiting. Okay, now, come on, come on. I don't like this one to go back to every everything. Okay, okay, okay. So go back to the project. I have here my three tasks, but I will not go there. I will click on forecast. And here you see, this is really cool. So now I have said that John Do, I want him to be working 50% on this task. I see here immediately that I have 50% of his time. It is free. Let us look how it looks like for the other task. So the other task is um, write the script. Of course, I want to go and edit. 
and I say planned hours, let's say 10 hours to write the script and um, I'm gonna save here and create a forecast and then I say, I'm gonna say, okay, he's gonna be starting of course on the 25th, okay, and I want this to be finished by the 27th. Okay, and this person is gonna be working 80% of, of his time there. So now I have it. And let us do this for the recording of the video. But now I don't wanna start it this way because now I need to keep in mind what are the times that I used, but this is not very practical. So let us go back to the forecast where I can see everything. So you see here, I have the demo user in the gain view and he's gonna be working 50% of his time to finish this. And this person gonna be working 80% of his time on this one. And I would like to add a new task here. Obviously, I'm not sure, it doesn't seem to be possible. Let me check. Here, I'm gonna click on create a forecast. So here I have the record the video and I said planned hours 18, but the time is not very well chosen, but I would like to do this graphically. And I want him to be working 100% of his time on this during one day. So let us go back to the GAN chart. Here in the GAN chart, you see the administrator is now here with the task. So what I would want it to do is to move this here graphically so that I don't have to figure out and write everything. And then I can also here make it longer, say, okay, now you have 100% of the time. So this is when everything goes well. But what happens, suddenly we have a new task that has just arrived that we forgot. And I'm just gonna add this new task. And it is search the appropriate music. Okay. And this is gonna be for John Doe. And this uh, should be another five hours. I can save. So now let us go into the forecast views. So here I have John Do. I have this here. And I want to create a new forecast for John Do with a new task. So here I can create John Do. The forecast and here I can choose the task search for the appropriate music and now I can save it and I go back to the forecast and here I click to be there so let us see what John do has the new task oh did I do something wrong no I assigned this to the wrong person here I want it to be assigned to John do Save. So now John Do is, and this is what I wanted to show you. So here, you see, I have assigned 150%, and the system is automatically showing me that it's too much. I can either say it doesn't matter, this is what I want them to do, or I can start reducing the number so I can go here and reduce it it's 80 percent I can save it and here now I'm 130 30 percent and I say okay we need to finish this contract very fast so we're gonna accept that the person is gonna be working a little bit more so this is it for the video the task but i would like to show you something that is quite new and very good very well done and i just went over it without saying a word and now if you look here 
you will see in comparison to the version before that we have the description we have the timesheet that are separate and extra info the interesting part is here in the description you can see that you are or, or already in the sharing mode so it means that here you can have the people other people just collaborating with you when writing the project tasks so very interesting the other thing is that here you can have the line numbered to decide how you're going to be using it you can go to the settings and here okay my pad setting authorship colors line colors and font type if i take this away okay um i i'll be writing something without any color so you cannot recognize who has been writing something and then if i put this back you see that it is every author has its own thing the other thing that we also have here is a version management tag you can save this version it is one of the safe version the other thing is here you have the history so with everything every word that you type is going to be a new version on my site for me it's too much i find it too too much because now i already have 34 versions and i have already written nothing so i'm not sure about this versioning system but okay let's go back the rest is quite quite cool um i like this one the fact that we, we can import export it's not yet finished but uh, at least we can export the full the full text so this is very good and here this is the share this link pad and you can have a read only share or you can have um an edit share so it means that every other people are going to be able to participate to the writing let me show you how it works here i'm gonna go and create an incognito window so it's not linked to the previous window i go here and you see now there are two people participating here and i can do my comments here are my comments okay this is it i can go back to my first window and it is there already if i put this as read only i can copy it let me go back to my in the pad here you see i can't write anything so it's very very well done and very secure if you have to share information with uh, other people okay the i think this is really really good really well done i like to have the timesheet uh, very very beautifully separated sometimes it's directly on the task and a little bit below so i like the new layout i must say that it's really really well done and um, the forecast is working absolutely perfectly so that was it for today i hope you enjoyed the show 